Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, so first thing, uh, there has been some inquiries for um, t-shirts and stuff like that. So I did go ahead and, uh, I'll zoom in on that. Um, I did go ahead and put some t-shirts, sweatshirts, and caps up on the website. I'll put a link down in the description. If you're interested in that, great. Help support the channel. And then, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to work on two different methods of uh, doing shaker style doors. Uh, we'll talk real briefly about um, if we're just doing it with a router bit, but primarily looking at if we want to work with a table saw only, and we're going to purchase a new blade for that. It's a Freud uh, blade with a flat top on it rather than uh, a normal style blade that will end up with, it'll leave a little sawtooth uh, when you're not doing through cuts um, edge on it. So this will leave a flat bottom in our tongue and grooves. And so yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll talk like I said, briefly about the, using a router bit and cutting it, that, uh, cutting our styles and rails that way and uh, laying it out, getting our wood prepped and uh, getting it glued up. So. Let's get into it. So the first thing I want to do is after I get the material from my supplier, I get it uh, planed down to 13 sixteenths and then straight lined. I'll actually send it through the drum sander. Get that down to a finish. Then hit it with the uh, joiner, get that one edge cleaned up really nicely. And uh, then from that point, we'll uh, Run it over the table saw. We'll get everything ripped down to the width we want. On these, we're going to do rip everything down to two and a quarter inches, and uh, then from there we can start processing it from there. But at this point, and the other thing I'll do is after I've ripped this, I'll actually send it back through and uh, edge sand these. So all my panel or all my material is basically finished sanded at this point in time. There will be some cleanup uh, after we get everything assembled, but it makes it a lot easier to do those edges and do the faces ahead of time. And uh, I know that I've got even material throughout. All right, so one of the ways we can do our tongue and groove is with uh, bits like these. Um, these are adjustable so that I can, um, you can take this uh, nut off and there's a series of washers here and a bearing so you can adjust how thick this would be to cut the groove in for our panel. So you can adjust that accordingly um, with some very small uh, dis uh, spacers. Uh, so you can just dial that in. After you get your groove in, then you'd come back and this um, would do your tongue. So then you, again, we pull off this nut, adjust that, and then the wood goes onto the bearing. So then this cuts out. So this is going to do, I believe, up to about seven eighths or close to an inch thick material. Um, and it just get, leaves a flat edge on the, the profile of the doors. So. These are Freud bit. I'll, I'll leave a description uh, link on the description for these. Um, these is typically what I'll do. All right, so we're gonna get ready to set up to rip all our grills with the table saw. I've gone ahead and put that uh, flat tooth blade into here. Um, one of the things I want to do to begin with is this fence allows me to adjust. Uh, square, so I just want to make sure that the square actually checked it. It was a little bit off, but I just bring a light in here and I can sight down there and make sure that it's where I want it to be. Okay, looks pretty good. Um, next thing I'll do, all right, so the next thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and get the uh, the depth set on this, and I want three eighths of an inch. I've just got this little Craig jig that I use 
and I'll, I'll put a link up in the description for this thing. It's, it's pretty handy, actually. It's got um, metric on one side and uh, and parallel on the other, so it's it's kind of handy. That should be pretty good to start out with. Go ahead and lock that in there. Now these teeth might be offset a little bit, but I'm just going to kind of check and see what I've got here for overall. It's pretty close to an eighth of an inch uh, on the tooth. So what I think I'm going to do to begin with is I am going to go ahead and put the blade at uh, three eighths on the center line. So that is so it should be like my boards are pretty close to three quarter. They're right at three quarter. So this is set up at three eighths. We'll run through both sides, and then I will probably have to move the mark this over a little bit. But um, let's try this and see what happens. So that is just slightly over an eighth of an inch. The panel I'm going to be using is just strong of three sixteenths. So what a lot of times I'll do is I'll use this uh, mag switch um, just as a reference so that I can just kind of dial this in a little bit. We'll run that and see what we're at now. liking that quite a bit. It's a nice snug fit. It's not going to rattle around, but it's a snug fit in there. So now that we've got that set up, next thing I'm going to do is come in here. I like using these mag switches. So we've got our mag switch up to set up to keep uh, keep this nice and even across here. It'd be nice to have something to hold it down. My gessums won't work um, very well because it's so tight in here. It just they might work, but I'm just not going to try to bother. So we're just going to use a couple of push sticks and uh, do it that way. All right, so we have all of our stock um, planed, ripped, grooved, um, and sanded on, on four sides ready to go in. So the next thing I'm going to do <coughs> is I made a list of what I need. Um, I have two cabinets with two doors each. One cabinet has even doors. The other one has uh, 
the width is a little bit different. There's a half an inch difference. So what I'll do is for cabinet one, I have my styles, which are the verticals. Uh, I need 19 and three quarters. <coughs> Excuse me. 19 and three quarters. So I need four of those. And on cabinet two, my styles, the verticals are, I need, uh, are 16 and need four of those. On my rails, my doors are 17 and three quarters. Then I need to subtract whatever my width of my two styles are and then add uh, three quarters of an inch because I got three eighths on either side. So um, I'll go ahead and do that math and figure out the, what sizes those are. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll mark these as I cut them, I'll set up a little stop block on the, the, the uh, sled here, and then I'll mark each one so I know what cabinet they go to and whether they're a style or a rail. So um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We'll get their uh, styles. So those are the easy ones to do. We'll get those done first. So I need uh, 19 and three quarters. I need four of them. All right, now we've got our styles all cut. So we're gonna cut the rails. So we finish out at four and a half inches. So I need for my door um, to finish out at 11 seven eighths. So if I come in here to 11 seven eighths, that is, <coughs> excuse me, seven and three eighths when I subtract that. So 11 and seven eighths minus four and a half is seven and three eighths. But I need to add three quarters of an inch for our groove here. So plus six eighths. So that would be. Eight and one eighth. So for the one cabinet, for the doors to be at 11 and seven eighths, I need these rails with the add on for the tongue to be eight and an eighth. So I'll go ahead and set up a jig for eight and an eighth, and I need, um, need four of those. So I'll cut those up. So to begin with, I'm going to set up my blade height, and I'm going to just get it started. I'm going to get close right now, so I'm going to bring it down so it's just about even with, in this way, so the bottom of the groove. Probably pretty close right there. And then we'll bring our fence in. And we want this again at back to our three eighths of an inch. All right. So we'll take some of our cutoffs. We'll cut that out, see what that looks like, and then if that looks good, then we'll go ahead and. Cut all of our grooves, or all our tongues. So it's a little hard to tell from this angle, but what I've been doing here is I'm just butting my uh, scrap piece up to the blade, up to my fence, 
and then slowly moving it back a little at a time until I clear all that material, um, you know, three or four passes, and that should clear that out of there. And then I'll flip it over the other side, and then uh, and slowly I'll just start uh, dialing in the depth of the blade and make sure my fence is in my right location until I've got a nice fit that I'm happy with. And then I'll go move forward and cut the, all the rest of them, my rails out after I get this test piece fitted. All right, time to lay out our panels. So this is uh, fairly easy. So with our side to side, all we can do is we can take our rails and this is eight and an eight. So I'm gonna do a 16 under that. So I'm gonna go eight and a 16. And then for the other direction, we're going to measure in here. We got 11 and a half. Plus there's three quarters, we got three eighths and three eighths. Be 12 and one quarter, but we want to take about a 16th off of that. So 12 and three sixteenths. So 11 and 8 and an eighth by 12 and 3, uh, 3 sixteenths. We'll bear a panel, so we'll get those cut out and uh, put these together. All right, so we'll get these panels all cut out, make sure they fit, and then we'll go ahead and get this thing glued up. Uh, I think we're going to call this a wrap on this one. It's getting a little bit longer than I was open, and all we have left to finish up these doors is glue it up. Uh, so one of the next steps is we'll go down and get our hinges installed and lay that out. Got a couple different methods to do that. Um, we'll talk about the doors that I actually ordered and what we'll be doing for uh, the drawers for this uh, particular job. So see you next time.